There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. There's a name, and it's a precious name, and it is the name of Jesus Christ. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there are plenty of Jesuses in Mexico, children who've been named Jesus. That's a good name. But the Bible tells us that there is another Jesus. And if you have another Jesus, if your belief and your faith is in another Jesus, When you die, you'll take that Jesus into hell with you. Because another Jesus will not save your soul. You say, well, what kind of another Jesus is there? There's a Jehovah Jesus that's not God. And yet my Jesus is the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Get away from the Jehovah Witness Jesus. He can't save you. He's not God. And the Jehovah Witnesses, that they'll be honest, will tell you that Jesus is not God. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It didn't say believe on Jesus Christ. It said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus who is God, the Jehovah Witnesses are wrong. There's a Catholic Jesus. A Catholic Jesus is if you eat and drink the body of Jesus, you might go to heaven. You might. You might not. We don't know. And then if I tell you, if you eat the body and blood of a human, you're not safe, you're a cannibal. And there are people in the darkest part of Africa that eat other human beings. They're called cannibals. Cannibals don't go to heaven. Another Jesus is Jesus of the Catholic Church. You don't eat and drink Jesus. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Your Catholic Mass will lead you to hell. Because that's another Jesus. There's the Mormon Jesus. The another Testament of Jesus Christ. Where Jesus Christ came to North America to people that archaeology has never found, the places where archaeology is never found, and that is another Jesus of the Mormon church that will not save you. You cannot be saved by the Mormon Jesus. It's another Jesus. When the Bible says to believe, on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Religion is in great error. There's a Baptist Jesus. A Baptist Jesus. Oh, we're King James. We don't open it, but we're King James. And our church is the best church of all the churches. Go to church. That's a Baptist Jesus. That's a Baptist Jesus with no gospel. We got fellowships. We got movies. We got entertainment. But we don't have the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
and we'll even give you a little Catholicism in our Baptist church. We'll give you Easter and Christmas. That's a Baptist Jesus. But the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There's one Jesus, but there are another Jesus. There is one that can save your soul. All the others will damn your soul. You see, the Catholic Jesus never came out of the tomb. He said, well, well uh, you know, preacher, our church is teaching on Easter he came up. And yet, at your church, he's still nailed to the cross. The Catholics have Jesus nailed to the cross. That's not a resurrection. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ suffered and died. That's the Catholic religion. There are plenty of other Jesuses out there, but there is one Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ, and the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved, saved from what? Saved from hell. The Bible says that he that has the Son, Jesus Christ, hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son, Jesus Christ, shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him, the wrath of God is hell. There are people in hell today with another Jesus. But there is no one in hell today that put their faith and trust in the Jesus. Because when you put your faith and trust in Jesus, when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Boom, quick. It's that quick. It's also that quick after death to die and end up in the flames of hell. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. You have said, preacher, God, I got something better than Jesus. I don't need your Jesus. My another Jesus will help me well in my life. But your other Jesus can't help you in the eternal life. Your Jesus called alcohol may make things feel good for a while. But Jesus, Mr. Alcohol, you got to pay for it. And the salvation of Jesus Christ is free. It's abundant. All you have to do is call upon Jesus to be saved. Alcohol, you got to give money. You got to open it. You got to drink it. And if you run out of money, you run out of alcohol. There's no running out of Jesus. When you don't have any more money, your alcohol runs out, but Jesus never runs out. Your glass of alcohol goes down, goes down, and gets empty. And with Jesus Christ, your cup can be full, it can be full, it can be refilled, and it can be full to the finest. With the new wine. With the joy, love, peace. The fruit of the Spirit. Alcohol will ruin your family. Alcohol will ruin your job. Alcohol will ruin your body. Jesus Christ will give you love, joy, peace. Even in troubles. Even in problems. When you get victory over the alcohol and get victory in Jesus. You can have the most miserable life with Jesus, a pain, sorrow, suffering, death, loneliness. 
And when you pass from this life to eternal life, to be absent from the body and present with the Lord through faith, belief in Jesus, it will be wonderful and great. When the God of alcohol takes your life and you die without Jesus, you die of the God of alcohol, you'll be in the flames of hell forever where there is no more alcohol. And with all the alcohol you drank, maybe get a little blue flame in hell, but you'll never drink of the fruit of the spirits. Oh, we'll party in hell, not in flames of fire. Alcohol burns. When you put your faith and trust in Jesus, love, joy, peace for all eternity, and a hope, and a blessed hope, and eternal life, pleasing the Father, you can't get that with alcohol. Alcohol will get you drunk and stupid. Yeah, I know, preaching the gospel seems stupid. Even Paul wrote about the foolishness of a man screaming Jesus. Paul said it's foolish. But it's a good foolishness. It's better than being foolish with alcohol. It better be raising up Jesus. Not only do you look like an idiot drunk in the world, you look like an idiot drunk before God. And when the world sees you as an idiot preaching Jesus, God says how beautiful that feat is. You may not enjoy the preaching of Jesus Christ, God does. Romans chapter 17, verse, I think, 14. Read the whole chapter, Romans chapter 10. You'll find that God is pleased with preaching. You'll find the very same words in Isaiah chapter 52. How wonderful it is the glad tidings of the preaching of the feet that Jesus saves. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. How wonderful God is. How great God is. How great thou art, O God, the Father of Jesus Christ. And yet you'll take the name of Jesus in vain, violating the commandment. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. The GD, Jesus Christ, in all in vain. But to me, the name of Jesus is salvation. The name of Jesus is sweet, and yet it won't ruin my diabetes. Take the name of Jesus with you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You want to be saved? You want to please God? Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Come out of religion. Come out of atheism. Come out of agnostic. Come out and come into Jesus. And see that Jesus is able to save. Taste and see the goodness of Jesus Christ. 